Hi everybody, I'm doing a little something different today. Instead of my typical vlogs, I'm gonna be reviewing this hair unit that I'm wearing. Bear with me because I'm using my back facing camera on my phone so I can't see myself, but hopefully you guys are getting good lighting and you can see um, the hair and you let me know what you think. I'm pretty much gonna give you my first impression because um, I literally just took out the box and put it on. So speaking of the box, let me show you. Here's the box. Basically, it is a um, free trust equal lace front wig in a lace um, lace deep invisible L part. So whatever L part means, this is what an L part is. I'm not a beauty guru, but here we go. It has a hand tied lace deep invisible part. You can definitely tell that this is a deep wave. It kind of goes in and out. <laughs> Let me see if you guys can see it. One of the things that attracted me to this unit was that the color purple, not like the movie, but you know, purple. <laughs> Actually, looking at it on, um, in the light, you can definitely see the purple more. When I first put it on, I was a little disappointed because I was like, it's not bright enough. I'm big on colors, I love brightness, I love big hair, I love kind of the dramatics, so I'm all about that. I feel like this is a little bit subtle for me. I know, right? <laughs> But <laughs> it's something different. I think I think it's gonna grow on me. Um, this is right out the pack. I really didn't alter it at all. All I did was cut out the lace. It's like a lace front kind of weavy thing right here, and you have to cut it off in order. And then I just kind of put it on my head. I didn't go ahead and put any concealer on there or try to pluck out the part. I've actually never done that. I've never plucked out a part on a weave or. A a weave. I've never plucked out a part in a wig before. So um, I kind of leave mine pretty much all natural. It may not look the most natural. I kind of feel like it does. Like I kind of feel like it fits my face and it's curly. Curly is good. Let me see if I can show you guys from the back. Okay so I'm not sure if you saw the back facing view but I tried. There are three combs in here, and there's one on this side, one on this side, and there's one in the back. Yes, there is, I just felt it. <laughs> I'm so bad at this, so yeah, there's three combs, and there's also a strap on the inside that you can tighten it with. I don't use combs anymore because I find that they pull out my edges, and I'm trying to grow them back right now, and that's not the business. So. <laughs> Careful when you're wearing hair units because combs can pull at your hair. I find that it's better just to kind of use the straps and tighten it and it seems to be secure enough. So far I haven't had any problems with slippage. Actually I didn't even go through the colors. So the style of this hair is the orange blossom. Not really sure why it's called that. And the color is OTDKPU which is the purple and the black color, because clearly it's not all purple, it's kind of like highlighted throughout. Which I like, because if it was all purple, then I kind of feel like it's kind of too much, but then I also want that it's bright. I don't know, I'm weird, it depends on the event. Like I feel like I can wear, wear this day to day, and it's okay, like if I wore like all purple, I feel like I'd have to go to more of an extravagant event. It came with like a little package, let me go see if I can find it. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I found the little tablet that came on the inside. This is it. This hair does come in multiple colors. You can see there's a purple color and it's kind of a reddish color. According to this, like I was saying, it's the Style Orange Blossom. And also this is considered a SP, which is a splash highlight. So there you go. It's a splash highlight of the purple throughout. And you can actually curl, you can use a curling iron on this. So it says up to 400 degrees tells you right there and then the, here's some other colors that it actually comes in it's available in a lot of colors here's the colors that it comes available in and this is called a shake shake <laughs> and go what do you think I shook it and I'm ready to go y'all <laughs> did it work <laughs> we'll see y'all y'all can judge for yourselves but it's growing on me I think it took a minute first impression I was like eh, not bright enough but now that I've had it on for maybe about the 10 minutes that I'm recording this video I don't know. I see it in the light, and the light definitely makes it pop more. I think because I was in the bathroom, it's a little bit darker, you know, lighting is everything. So that made it more clear. There's some cleaning and washing instructions in here, and I forgot to check the price that I bought it for, but when I edit this video, I will look and put it somewhere in the video to let you guys know in the description how much it costs, but generally I don't spend more than $40 on hair, so I'm pretty sure it was under that, maybe like $29, I'm guessing. 
and I believe I got it from hairsisters.com because it's usually where I get most of them. And I've used Inkwell before, they generally tend to hold up pretty well. When you store it, it comes with this plastic bag and you should keep them in here. Or if you have like the, the, the heads that you can put them on. So I just want to give you my review so far. This is my very first impression. It's cute. I like it. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share for more videos. But hey, if you like videos like this, I'll put them in there from time to time. Why not, you know? And I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Hope it's being framed, but we'll try.